In today's video, we're gonna talk about the nine different types of portrait lighting. I'm sure there are more, but we're just gonna go with nine. Now one caveat today before we get started, I'm not really a big fan of giving everything that photographers do a name. It does make it easier to talk about, so we're gonna use those terms today. But I'm sure none of your clients are ever going to come to you and say something like, I really love your loop lighting, could you do that for me? The best way to talk about the positioning of lights is probably the hours on a clock. So in today's examples, I'm going to be at six o'clock and the subject is going to be right in the middle. First up today is split lighting. Split lighting is where you place a light at nine o'clock or at three o'clock and half of your subject's face is in shadow. While this is a type of lighting, it's a type of lighting that I would call not good. In fact, I dislike it so much that I had to dig deep into my archive to find an example. Next up is backlighting or rim light. And that's when you place the light at 12 o'clock directly behind your subject. This can be a really cool way to make a great silhouette. And if you have them face about 10 o'clock and then you yourself lean over a little to the left, you can get a really great catch light in both eyes and it can make a really effective and cool portrait. The next setup that we're gonna talk about today is butterfly lighting. And that's when you boom a light source directly above the camera. This is usually really great for beauty Oftentimes, the photographer will be using a small softbox or a beauty dish. It gets its name because the shadow that forms under their nose is said to resemble a butterfly. I don't really see it, but I guess it's there. If you see it, I guess you succeeded in passing that Rorschach test. You wanna be careful though with the placement of this light, because if it's too high, you're not going to get a catch light in the subject's eyes. So you just wanna turn on your modeling light and start lowering that light down ever so slightly. And when you see that catch light start to appear, usually that's where you would stop. If you go down too low, the light may be in your way and you'll probably lose the shaping that will occur in their cheekbones. And so you wanna just get it exactly right. Next up is clamshell. And clamshell is just when you take the butterfly setup and add a reflector or a small softbox underneath the camera to fill in those shadows. And if you look at it from the side, you'll see one light source here and one light source here with the camera going in between. And if you remove the camera, you're gonna end up with a shape that looks like an open clamshell. The next setup is loop lighting. And loop lighting is where you place a light source just a little bit above the subject's head at five o'clock or seven o'clock and it's going to create fairly subtle shadows and it's going to be very pleasing for most people. Next is Rembrandt lighting and it's one of my favorite setups. It's when you place the light at four o'clock or eight o'clock. And the main feature of this setup is when the shadow from the subject's nose goes across their face and then meets the shadow from their cheekbone, creating a triangular shaped highlight under their eye. It's named after the Dutch painter who posed his subjects in front of a window. Next up is short lighting. It's just a derivative of Rembrandt lighting, and it's when you have the subject turn a little bit more towards the light. This is said to have a slimming effect and should be more pleasing on most people. Next up is broad lighting, which is also a derivative of Rembrandt lighting. You just have the subject move back a little and turn their face away from the main light. That'll make this side of their face appear more broad and will accentuate their cheekbones. Our final setup is cross lighting. And cross lighting is when you place your main light at four or five o'clock and then a second light behind the subject at 10 or 11 o'clock. And this will in effect cross light them this will create a really dramatic portrait that almost looks three-dimensional. Well, I think that about sums everything up. If you guys can think of a 10th, 11th, or 12th type of lighting, please leave those in the comments below. And if you're watching this on Instagram TV, just know that you can watch these videos on YouTube a day earlier. 
And if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit subscribe and that thumbs up so more people can see this video. Thank you guys so much for your time. Have a great day, stay safe, and I will talk to you soon.